from way downtown, mate. If anything, mate, this is too easy. In this video, I love cardio. <laughs> in this video, we're going to talk about the most important things you need to consider when it comes to cardio. Some of the things you may already know, and I guarantee you, one of the things you probably haven't even thought of. <laughs> Test them. Have you even thought of it? I bet you have. So, cardio. Everyone assumes cardio has to be done in the gym, has to be done <sighs> treadmill. out running, has to be done on a treadmill, has to be absolutely awful, god awful experience. Yeah. I mean, it always is, yeah. to be fair. Pretty much most of the time. But one of the things people forget is that just moving and being active, whether it's playing basketball, football, any cricket counts. Can't. Cricket doesn't count. It does count. I doesn't mean, count. eat sandwiches halfway through, but yeah. it's fine. If you're a wicket keeper, how much exercise are you doing? That's hard work, mate. That it's is. not hard I work. I bet you wicket keepers would have a go at you. For hard work that. standing there. At least if you're in the field and the ball comes near you, you tend to have to <laughs> run towards it. The wicket keeper just stands there. Very, very true. I agree with you, wicket keepers. Lazy. Yeah, lazy. So, general activity. So, today we've come to play a bit of basketball. Not just for the video, partly because of the video. Yeah. Partly because we wanted to play basketball. But people seem to forget that you could spend an hour doing some sort of activity you enjoy, whether it's playing with the kids. Don't say what I know you're going to say. Playing with your kids. There is kids, a play park. Playing yeah. with your kids. Yeah. Um, whether even it is that, just generally... Even that's wrong, mate. <laughs> Even that, keeping it in-house, yeah. incestuous. It's even worse, isn't it? Whether it's playing basketball, whether it's playing football, whether it's having a kick around, whatever. If you're going to finger a walk, kid, do it to someone else's. Don't say that in a park. Don't say that near a park, mate. There's a park just over there. Don't they can't in. They won't 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 in. They Yeah, people just forget that just going for a long walk, hour-long walk, in the lovely, glorious sunshine. Well, make it enjoyable. Like, do something that you're interested in. Like, it doesn't have to be fucking basketball. It could be like going for a walk with your other half or your kids or your dog or whatever. Like, it still counts. Go you're still canoeing. Moving. Go canoeing. Canoe it. All right. Do you know what annoys <laughs> you're me? It's not really random then. Do you know what annoys me though? Like, do you know when like a village floods? Yeah. And on the news, there's always a wanker in a canoe in there. Yeah, like when it snows as well. There's exactly. always someone out with their skis or so a snowboard. So what? I've got a canoe. Oh, Brilliant. well fucking done, mate. Yeah. Where are you going to go? Everything's shot, yeah, you dickhead. You bought that just to do it yeah. for this one what day. What a wanker just... on the yeah. local news. Just a man in a canoe. He's just getting his knee up, mate. Yeah, well done. He's just getting his knee up. When it comes to your training and cardio, don't always think that cardio has to be done inside. You have to sweat. You don't even have to sweat. Again, it's always this presumption if you're not sweating, you have to But sweat is enough. fat crying. No, it's not. No, it's not. Ridiculous. It's water. Yeah. You're just dehydrating yourself. Nothing to do with fat at all. Forget what? about it. So if I wear a sweat vest that I don't lose body fat quicker? I used to think that. Yeah, you used to wear one. I did. Still got one now. I did used to wear Just one. Just in case. And I used to buy them and then when I run out, I used to wear bin, bag, bin bags. Cut a neck out on it. And I used to wear bin bags underneath my in the gym. <laughs> oh, I love in to the see gym that. doing training, resistance training. Oh, I would love to see that, wouldn't you? Like so you would you would be rustling around <laughs> doing, doing like weights. a pervert in the trees. Doing weights. Doing weights, mate, yeah. Like on the benches, a bin bag under, underneath my top. What a more? Sweat more. Because I heard that for every like something, like every something of sweat, you burn an extra calorie. Back then, I would do anything for any single calorie. It was before I knew what I was doing. Ridiculous. I mean, I still don't know what I'm doing. I don't wear bin bags. Anyway, hit versus list next, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. Does the intensity of your cardio matter? I beat you at basketball. It did. Saying. It did. You can't move now, can you? You are <laughs> fucked. Yeah. It's only the only reason is because I wore flat sole shoes, so I couldn't run properly. Yeah. Okay. I've still got pace though. Run a big man. For a big man. Run rings on you, mate. Got good feet for a big man, this lad. No, no. No, I give you your dues, Daniel. Thank you, you, mate. You are better than me at basketball. It's one, painful as that is. One thing that I beat you at. That's it. Yeah. And FIFA, actually. And FIFA, you're better. Yeah. Mm. It's got the dexterity, you see. It's the, it's the, the yeah. delicate. It's the delicate, isn't it? Yeah, I'm too, to, too much of a brute. I'm used to that a lot. I know you are, yeah. Anyway, just before we go to the gym, we'll touch on whether you should do your cardio fasted or fed, Mark. Okay. I, I mean, used to do fasted cardio. We've all been there, I think, haven't we? Thinking that doing it fasted, you know, is going to burn more fat. And it kind of makes sense. You think in your head, right? It's logical. It's one of those, it's one of those things in nutrition that it kind of goes, well, it's logical. You'd think it would make sense. A lot of the stuff in nutrition does, though, right? Or a lot of the myths in nutrition. you think it would make So you do think, I used to think, right, if I do my cardio fasted, like everyone's saying, I haven't eaten, yeah. so what I'm going to burn off as energy is going to be my body fat. And you mm. sort of, like, it's such a simplistic view of it, but you still think, if you don't have a huge amount of knowledge, you think, yeah, that makes sense, Yeah, right? it would make sense, yeah. But the other, the other <coughs> scary thing, or the other thing that kind of is difficult to kind of get across to people is that it actually, fasted cardio does actually burn more fat. Yeah. 
Like again, so then you've got a science, you know, you've got literature and you've got you know people in science telling you that, that is factually correct and that you do burn more fat. And that's just because during that state your body will use more fat as a fuel and again in your head you kind of go oh well I'm not eating so it must be body fat and again chances of it being body fat potentially are maybe higher if you do fasted cardio the biggest problem with that is that it doesn't take into account your calories over the course of the day so yes you might burn a bit more fat during that cardio session but then throughout the whole day you burn less fat and you burn more carbs because you're eating more during the day than you would be if you did you were eating before cardio for example you your body tends to use what you've given it yep. so just in the same way that eating higher fat you burn more fat um, like a, a ketogenic diet for example yeah like again we know that obviously we, we know. know we know we know it doesn't actually burn more body fat because it's still dictated by calories so it's the same with the cardio yeah. so whether you do 400 calories of cardio before breakfast or after breakfast and let's say you've eaten 2,000 calories you're still in a net of 1600 yep. either way Yep. Like so, it doesn't make any fucking difference, and there might be some benefit of of eating before you perform your cardio because you might perform a little bit better. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> if you're tracking calories in your cardio, which you should be, then that's kind of redundant because you're still going to be tracking that same amount of calories. But if you're tracking time, which you shouldn't be, um, the chances are is that having some carbs beforehand in that a lot of period of time, you might spend more calories. Mm -hmm. Nailed it. Thanks, Nailed man. Nailed it. Yeah. Unlike, unlike, on the, unlike on the basketball court, mate. I got one in. You got a few in, yeah. yeah. I did get a few in. Not a great percentage, though. I do need to improve. Yeah, well, you can, you, you can only improve. So yeah, true. It's all good, isn't we it? We should do other stuff, mate. Like, we will, mate. We crazy will. Golf? I think that the, the, the name Crazy Golf is a little bit false advertising. It's not that it crazy. It's mediocre golf. Yeah, it's, it's like golf with a couple of inconveniences. <laughs> Imagine that's the title. Inconvenient do go, golf. Do you want to go and play some golf with a few inconveniences in it? Yeah. <laughs> Who put that windmill there? <laughs> yeah. Who put it there? But it's not crazy. It's not crazy, it's is it? It's not crazy. No, no. Very believable. It's like people say, oh, that's unbelievable. No, it's not. No, it is it's believable. extremely believable. Yeah. Like, oh, he's in unbelievable condition. Well, no, he's believable. I can see it. It's believable. Yeah, it is believable. Unbelievable would be if he turned up ridiculously fat. That's yeah. pretty unbelievable. Oh, fucking hell, I can't believe someone bothered. Yeah. You see it all the time with football commentators. Did it with my brother this weekend, watching um, loads of football. Unbelievable goal. Well, it's not, is it? It's not an unbelievable goal. An unbelievable goal. goal would be that you smashed it so high, went out of the atmosphere and back in again, and yeah. went in, went in the net. Yeah. That would be unbelievable. Yeah, I wouldn't. But, but then, if it happened, it still <laughs> is believable. It's believable. Because it still happened. <coughs> so, technically, something unbelievable Unbelievable be pumps from this pre-workout. Yeah. No. Un yeah. Believable, mate. Yeah, believable. Skin splitting. Definitely not. Right, we're going to go and train, and then when we come back from training, we're going to go over the last point for you. Right, hip versus list. I'm going to hold this. We've got about a minute and a half, I reckon, until my arm gives in. In fact, it's giving in already. Is it? It's giving in already. You are weak. So, we're just at Starbucks for a coffee. Oh, no, okay. no such thing as adrenal fatigue. Don't worry about it. Um, too much coffee. So the last point in the cardio episode is hit versus list. Is it important? No. No, not in the slightest. Not really. And also, not not many people actually do hit because they can't do it. Like you physically can't do it. You're not fit enough. Yeah. Yeah. So hit versus list. There's no real difference. Like there are some nuances that you need to be aware of. Like if you are doing hit, like I know some coaches give out five, six days of hit. That's not hit. Ridiculous. One. You're not going to do it. You need long. to take into account risk of injury you're putting yourself. Yeah. Um, if it's a little bit more high intensity, then you've got higher risk of injury. Yeah. And also it's going to be harder to recover from. So that yeah. means that your resistance training sessions probably aren't going to be as effective. So you need to take that into account because you want those resistance training sessions um, to be as effective as possible so that you can retain as much muscle mass whilst dieting. Yep. And if you're not recovering properly, then the chances are is that you're not getting the most out of your training. And the other thing with cardio people worry about is, is doing when, it. when do I do it? Yeah, do I do it before my session, after my session, blah, blah, blah. Well, if you're doing any sort of cardio, doing it before a weight session is probably not advisable because you're just going to waste potential energy that could be better Unless used. Unless it's very, very low intensity. Unless it's extremely low intensity, like a warm-up. Yeah, um, but you wouldn't do hip. Do. You wouldn't do hip before no. legs. Do you know what I mean? You wouldn't do anything like that. And then the other, the other argument is um, doing low intensity cardio after legs because you're gonna then burn more fat because you've mobilised during a session. Again, if calories are controlled, won't make a fucking no difference. difference. So don't worry about it. No Split difference. your cardio. I personally, I like people to do their cardio on a rest day. Um, 
just because I think if, you, if you're only doing a couple of sessions a week, you've only got four weight sessions, you may as well split them up. You may as well. But that is by no means essential, and it's just a personal preference thing. It is personal preference. I have some clients who do it fasted, like yep. because they fits into their day. I have clients who do um, some before and some after their training. Yep. I have some who just do it on rest days. Like however you want to do it, yep. that's how you should do it. You can split up as well. People don't think that. They're like, oh, I've got to do 400 calories straight off the bat. Well, no, you can do two lots 200 if you want. Yep. If you really want it to. Like there's no no right or wrong way. Yeah, you've done it. The most important thing is that you do it. Exactly. All these arguments, just fucking do it if you and need to do again, it. Again, you may hear some slight little. Um, like rumour, well not a rumour because it is somewhat true, but moderate intensity steady state, so like going for a jog, is probably the lesser of the two, the, like of the three, sorry, that I would tend to typically go towards. The reason being is that if you do moderate intensity like a jog, you get an, a, an adaptive response to that, which means that, and it's called interference effect, so it's almost a competing adaptation response from the fat loss response, uh, no, sorry, from the muscle gain response. Um, knowledge so yeah it's called the interference effect because of the, the differing um, adaptations whereas with low intensity it's so low intensity that you don't actually yeah. create any kind of adaptation response and high intensity is a similar stimulus to resistance training so it's a similar sort of response that you're that you're getting rather than a competing response po -po, there is, mate, again mate. Too many, too many knowledge bombs. Knowledge I think. bombs it's everywhere. A bomb, it's a bomb squad. They think it's a terrorist. It's not the bomb squad. It's not. It's, it's not. not don't worry squad. about it. The most important I thing. Hate it. Most important thing with cardio is that you're, if you're asked to do it, you just do it. It's part and parcel of losing weight, yeah, creating a calorie deficit. Don't about it. Like you've you've signed up for it, you're going to do it. That's the thing. There's no right or wrong way to do it. Get it done, however best possible. I, I still can't believe that there's people out there claiming one way is better than the other for fat loss, or no. one way is better than the other. There's a certain way to do it. There isn't. Get it done, you'll be fine. You don't need supplements before well, or after. They have to be an effect though. No such thing, don't yeah, worry about it. Ridiculous, go. doesn't affect anything. No. Ridiculous. If you like that video, don't forget to hit subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button, that'd be great. And keep your eyes peeled for the next one. Look at our other videos, they're better than this one. Yeah, they'll be here, here, and here, and all over all the place. All over the fucking shop. But don't forget to subscribe, because we love it when people do that. It gives us that sort of satisfaction, doesn't it? I get an erection each I, time yeah, I get one. You'll never be able to see it, I won't worry about it, but you know. No. Do you know like a tick yeah. on a dog? Just like a small little imp like microscopic item that just fills with a little bit of blood, yeah, and then it just drops off. And then it just drops. That's it. It drops off. Yeah.